Hello and welcome to Architis. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a few very useful things about the walls and about the 2D profiles in Revit and how you can actually explore and open the new world of modeling and doing things in Revit with using a very simple 2D profiles. I hope that this video is going to, let's say, open your mind and help you doing the better things in your Revit projects. I don't want to waste your time here, so I'm immediately going to move to Revit where I'm going to show you what I'm speaking about. You may probably wonder how we can create something like this in Revit. And of course there are multiple ways, but let's say if you would like to create a small portion of the wall, then the best way is going to be the next one. So let me first create a wall and I will just make it to go up to the second level and uh, then when uh, we are in 3D if you go to the wall we will see that we have wall sweep and wall reveal options as available so I will just go to the wall sweep and create one here and you see it's going to make a cut in our wall when I select this and when I go to edit type I will see that it, it's used default profile which comes with a metric template but what we need to do right now is just to create our custom profile and to do that you need to go to the new family and we need to pick profile reveal, it's this one and I'm just simply going to create a triangular form which is going to cut our wall and let's just make it to go I don't know, 40 let's save as this file I will name it as one and we'll just load it into the project so in the project I will select the reveal we placed at the beginning we'll just go to edit type and we'll duplicate it so we'll name this one as 01 and for the profile I'm going to put the profile I just made so you see that we got triangular shape like the one we have here but now what we have to do is just to create this repetition and I'm going to show you how we can control that repetition as well so for, let's say that from the plan view I just would like to move this to start from here and then when I select this uh, reveal I will go to the modify and then to array we'll put the number of 10 of them let's say to go to the second one and we'll have this uh, group and associate checked so let's say from here to here and then 10 pieces and let's go to 3D and here there. I can anytime select this one, I can go to edit group and I can go down for example to 1.5 meters. We'll click fine and you see that the group is followed. The reason why I can now let's say also change the number of them on 20 is because I grouped and associated them when I was doing array. So let's say that this one is done, but let me unlock you the power of 2D profiles. You can, for example, very easily make this one as well. And let's say that I'm going to the family and I'm just going to create a profile which looks like this. So let me just make this to be, I don't know, 15 total and then 15 millimeters depth and I can actually I can make it 10 millimeters to be the depth I think will look better and then by sides I'm just going to make offset of two and a half millimeters so it will allow us to get this flat part let's say I'm assuming that this flat part is five millimeters and then this half is two and a half and let's just take the arch so I'm just going to trim it to look like this, we'll delete those lines and I'm going to save as the family and we'll name this one as reveal 02 and let's load it into the project and now let's go to 3D, we'll take reveal and we'll take this and we'll just duplicate it and this will be the second one with the second profile here we have the second one in a floor plan I will select this uh, reveal and then I will go to array we'll put the number of 10 again but uh, with unchecked group and associate so from here then 50 
and we'll get 10 of them. Now if I grab this one and would like to decrease the height on 2 meters, you see that the other one doesn't follow, also I can move this one up to there, so you see that nothing happens and the reason is because they are unglued and unassociated. While if I take this one here, you see that our distance between them is reflecting and the reason is because they are grouped and this one are not grouped. If we would like to create this profile with those softened edges, we can make it very quickly out of the second profile we made. But just to get this kind of feeling, I'm going to make this profile a bit bigger. So I'm going also here and I'm just going to make it as 250 with let's say 25 millimeters in depth. And let me just move this by sides from 10 millimeters. Okay, we need line here. And I will offset this for two and a half. So now I will take arch and I'm going from this point to this point and then to the midpoint here. And then we'll take this end and this end and I will make a tangent. And okay. This one is going to be named as O3. So let's just save it and load it into the project. So I'm going to select all of them, filter, and then I will delete reveals and model groups. If you are in a plan view and would like to create sweep or reveal, you will see that it's grayed out. So we have to go to the 3D. We'll take a reveal and we'll go just to duplicate and we'll make the third one. And we'll replace the profile with the third profile I made. So let's make it. And it's here. So now I will, from the plan view, select this one. Again, we'll go to array, we'll group and associate them. And let's say 10 of them to the end point. And you see, and if we would like to have the more of them, we can just increase the number to, let's say, 25, 27, 28. <laughs> so you see that we made the same wall as this one here using the reveal function and you know if you would like to make the whole building using the reveal i will not suggest you that but if you're going and do the portions of that it's going to be quite useful on the other hand let's say that this example also this one could be done on a different way using the same profiles the power of 2d profiles in revit is very big and it's quite useful and i really hope that this tutorial is going to open your mind about it so you can start exploring them and using them more and more into your projects let me just go and show you one more case how you can use 2d profiles like the same one i made i'm just only going to change them category so i'm going to open let's say this one and if i go here to the family category and parameters you will see that I can put Moulin here and then I'm just going to make a save as and we'll name it as a Moulin 01 I will load it into the project and then here I'm just going to create a curtain wall we'll take the empty curtain wall, we'll duplicate it for a panel let's take the empty one and then let's put the let's say this one for the vertical mullions we the distance of i don't know 100 millimeters and let's create the wall here then we need to load our profile so i have to select the mullion i will unpin it and go to duplicate So now you see that we have here the system mullion profile rectangular and we have to pick the one I made is this one mullion 01 and here it comes uh, we don't like the rotation we have so I'm just going and I'm going to do rotation in a family for 90 degrees save it and load it back to the into the project okay we can just select the curtain wall and sweep it and now I'm going to select again curtain wall and into the edit type I'm going to put our mullion we made. And let's just see the distance here is 56.6. So our curtain wall should be 56.6. 
the distance between them and if I go to 3D, let me just decrease this to the second level, you see that this works well also with the curtain wall. I really hope that this video showed you how simple it is to work with the 2D profiles and how they can, let's say, open completely new possibilities with doing things and modeling in Revit. I showed you just two ways how you can use them for the reveals and for the mullions, but you can try to use them for the sweeps and for the, a lot of other things. And if you have any questions about this video, just feel free to write in the comments below and I will be very glad to reply to you. Thanks a lot for supporting us and for watching this video.